Good morning. It is almost seven o'clock and it's a little bit later today because we are not working on a job site today or tomorrow. So yesterday I explained that I was going to give the guys the next two days off uh, paid and I did that for two reasons. Number one, the guys have been doing really good. They've been showing up on time and uh, we've been really hammering out the work. We've been doing really good and um, you know, I just feel like the guys deserve a couple days off. Not for any particular reason, but just because, you know, I think they need a break and I know they will appreciate it. Uh, and then second of all, I really need some time uh, spent right here in my office. I am so far behind on office work and business work. Uh, it's not even funny. Uh, I clean this portion of my desk so it looks good in the interview for the morning. But in full transparency, if you pan around to the rest of my office, it is a mess. I got dirty dishes there. I got garbage. I got boxes. And then where I'm working, I got stuff scattered all over the place. And uh, I know that drives you guys crazy. All my icons, I don't put them into folders, uh, but I'll have time for that someday. So anyways, I'm going to park it right here all day long today and all day long tomorrow. And I am going to reorganize. And then also I am going out today or tomorrow, probably today. It'll be in this video either way. Uh, I'm going to go out and buy the mower that you guys recommended most, um, if my dealer still has it, which I think that they do. So, all right. Well, uh, as part of my normal, regular routine, I really need some coffee. So <laughs> I will see you guys at the coffee shop. I don't see Scott back here, but since I have a day off from the job site, I'm going to give Scott the day off from having to deal with me. All right, you're all set. Have a good day. We'll see you next time. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. So what I did first is I made a list on that yellow pad of paper right there of the top 20 things that I need to get done like right away, the things that I am actually backed up on. And uh, there's no way I can get those 20 things done today. But I put them in order. Uh, and I will start at the top and start working my way down. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to give my wife a little break. Right now it's 8 o'clock and I'm going to drive the kids to school. I'm off of work today. Not off of work. I'm off of work from the job site. And uh, I gave Scott a little break this morning and I'm going to give my wife a little break this morning as well. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to get back here and start on that list right there. You almost ready, buddy? Yeah. You like kindergarten? Yes. Is kindergarten easy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bye, Joanna. Bye. Have a great day. Okay, bye, Daniel. Bye. You're gonna back, you're, you're gonna be late, so hurry up, okay? Maybe run a little bit. All right, you guys. I came back to check up on the job that we poured yesterday. It is raining out. And I was a little concerned about drainage down in this area of the approach, uh, but there is no puddles or pooling at all. It looks really good. And uh, this driveway turned out really good. Now that it's raining, I'm especially glad that we poured this driveway yesterday because there's obviously no way that we could have poured it today anyway. And tomorrow's not looking great either. Yes, Mr. Darrow. What are you doing? Sleeping or what? Yeah, man, I'm sleeping all day today. I don't want to do I don't want to do anything. It's rainy. It's drizzly. I just want to be lazy and sleep all day. All right, guys. I got one more alarm clock as a gift for Eric from one of the viewers, and I can't figure out if I don't think the viewer sent in his name. If you did, I apologize deeply. But thank you, thank you, thank you. I think with four alarm clocks, Eric should never ever have. A problem getting up. I just finished all my invoicing in the office. I have to deliver uh, one. I actually have to hand deliver one invoice. I won't explain why I have to do that, but uh, so I'm gonna go get some lunch, deliver this invoice, and then we're gonna carry on. Hi, Hi. Hi. I'll have the regular bed salad, cream of mushroom soup. Cream of mushroom. And your... all, right. all right, sounds good. See you tomorrow. Yep, see you tomorrow. It'll be in the afternoon sometime. Okay, I will have it ready. All right, thank you. Good morning. It is almost 10 o'clock on a Friday morning. 
So I'm going to put Thursdays, which you just saw, and then today uh, together in one video. Um, today I have been working on editing the next video. We are not working on the job site as I've explained in the previous video. Uh, today I'm just catching up on office work and getting some editing done. And I just finished this video. I am saving it right now and then I'll be uploading it to YouTube and putting it out today. Um, Today I'm going to make that mower purchase, so I'm going to take you guys along for that. Uh, right now I'm going to run to my accountant and pick up payroll checks, and then I'll meet up with the guys and give them their checks and their money. Um, and then a little bit later on, I'm going to head over, uh, pick up a trailer, and then head over and pick up that mower. And then uh, hopefully if it's not wet out, I think it was raining, but I think it stopped, uh, I'm going to you know mow my lawn. So I might show that. I'm actually excited. I've never cut with a... I almost said it. I almost, <laughs> I've never cut with the brand of mower that I am purchasing later. <laughs> so I'm curious to see uh, how it works. Wow, it is absolutely gorgeous outside. It rained all day yesterday. Light rain, but regardless, it rained. It is gorgeous right now. It's nice and warm. It's a beautiful October day here in Wisconsin. I got the guy's checks. And I know I'm going to get the question uh, regarding payroll. So I use a payroll service. Uh, payroll I don't have time for. It's relatively complicated and I have other things to think about. So uh, getting a payroll service has been a huge help, a time saver. And uh, they do it right. All the withholdings and all the tax stuff and all that, they take care of everything. It's all in order. Everything is perfect. I don't have to worry about it. And uh, I highly recommend it unless you have uh, some skills and time to do that. Uh, that's fine. I understand some people are very capable of that and have the time to do it. I am not. So uh, I use a payroll service because I know somebody was going to ask me that question. Bobby, I got your money. How many hours did you get? 15. 15. Hey. Right on the head, 15. Hey. Um, all well, right. You got to realize how I did this. Seven, one day. Then uh, five the other day, and when I took that stuff out to uh, Colgate. So 15 right on the head. Yeah. All right, you guys, you just pulled into the dealership. I don't know that I'll name the dealership, but you local guys will recognize this thing right here, that pattern right there. I'm not going to I'm not gonna name them or promote them or anything like that because I don't really have a deep enough relationship to do that to say anything really good or really bad about them yet. <laughs> uh, so... I'm gonna try if I can to keep all that out of the video, but I'm pretty excited, man, uh, to pick up a brand new mower. And uh, I did buy the mower that you guys all recommended most. So let me say this. You're never gonna have a consensus when it comes to uh, mowers. Everybody has their own ideas and everybody likes uh, their own brands. Uh, it's kind of like Chevy versus Ford. I have Chevy, well, I had a GMC, I have Fords. I've had just about every brand of pickup truck except for Dodge um, but yeah so the vast majority of you guys recommended this brand there was a few of you that really didn't like this brand um, there was a close second um, which I'll mention after I show you the winner so let's go pick up the winner well there it is guys just kidding come on I bought a brand new one how's it going going how are you good you got my more got your more yeah wait you trimmed your beard last yeah. night yep see i told you you look different he's got the pork chop look going on now yep. yes sir deer hunting time <laughs> yep camel hat and pork chops that's a dead giveaway right there it's hunting season there you go there it is there it is you okay if 150,000 people watch this? I don't care. All right. Make you famous, man. <laughs> or something. Or something. Before you know it, pork chops are gonna become in again, just from this video. So this thing's full of oil, full of everything, ready to mow except right now, gas. right? Yeah, except yeah. for gas. So if you guys wanna know why I bought a Skag, it wasn't because you were the best salesman ever. 
The reason I bought the Skag is because I asked for advice on my YouTube channel and uh, I asked for everybody's opinion. And Skag was the number one, was the winner with a Toro Grandstand right behind. A lot of, a lot of people like these. We've had... A few people don't like them, but the vast majority uh, really like them. So that's why I bought this. Look at even check the blades if they're level. Yep. Man, you're an expert. All right, let me go through some stuff with you quick. All right. Fuel shut off is here. For the most part, the only time I would ever use that is if, let's say, at the end of the year, you got a full tank of gas in it. Yeah. Run some Startron or fuel stabilizer through. Uh, run it through. Make sure you get it in the motor. Shut it off. Let the motor run until it runs out of gas. Okay. That gets any small quantity of fuel out. Yep. And that's what you want to do. All right. Um, as far as your hydraulic system goes, your hydraulic red reservoir is here. I'm going to fill it. If you look in here, see that hole? Yep. The breather. That is, well, that is your high level. Okay. Okay. When you put it in, you can see, see when this oil, hits the oil, coming through there. that's your low level. Okay. So it's got to be in the oil, and I'm going to top it off right now. Gotcha. Um, you know, you know that's not really intuitive. Like, if you didn't tell me that, I wouldn't no, know that. No. I would be like, where's the dipstick? That is the dipstick. So what I gotcha. do, I fill them up almost to full now. All right. Because there's probably still a couple of air bubbles in there. Yep. So then what you're going to want to do is probably after the first five ten hours just make sure you're in the range check it again never ever fill it over that hole because yeah. this is your expansion chamber yep so what are the uh what are the braking hours for the engine and then what is the first recommended interval for the hydraulic system uh maintenance skag i believe is 200 on a pump and wheel motor system for the first yeah and then it's 500 after okay um as far as the engine goes i say dump the engine oil in the first 25 20, hours 25, okay. so probably going to be at the end of the season this year yeah yeah, yeah. Year. yeah i was thinking 20 25 hours usually yep and then after that it's every hundred on the engine do you like uh, i've always put full synthetic in do you like full synthetic in these vanguards what or I, what's your opinion on that <laughs> we stock kawasaki semi-synthetic semi yeah yes i work for an equipment manufacturer and we did some longevity testing. Everything was used Kawasaki semi-synthetic. Yeah. It's a good oil. The big thing is that you have to remember you're an air-cooled engine. Mm -hmm. So versus like your Mobile One or whatever off the shelf, your heat range is for a liquid-cooled engine. For a cooler, got, cooler range. You got to make sure you have that broader heat range. As far as I know, Kawasaki and Amazon are, are the only two that have a synthetic that is the broader range for an okay. air engine. That's interesting, good to know. I didn't know that. And I thought I knew everything, apparently not. This Chris can help you. <laughs> um, dipstick obviously here for your engine oil. Um, I don't think you dipped it all the way. Yeah, I did. Did you? Right at full. All right. Um, add here. Oil filter here, oil drain right here. Gotcha. Ten, 10 millimeter nut on there, just loosen it up. And it'll flow. That's a valve. Yep. Yep. And they have the holes routed to the inside. You'll see it down there. What oh, yeah. I use for a drain pan, I cut the bottom two inches off of a five gallon bucket. Yep. And just slide, slide that it up into there. So it's nice yeah. and Yeah. I've done the same thing before with smaller buckets. Yep. One gallon buckets. Your deck is level side to side, pitched front to back. Um, double checked all that. Perfect. As so this thing's going to cut like beautiful, huh? Yep. All as right. As far as your grease fittings go, um, you have grease fittings on the front hubs on the inside on both of them. How often do you like to grease those? Whenever you do your maintenance. So if you're doing your maintenance at... I usually do my maintenance every 10 years. Well, the spindles are greasable on yep. skate. This is the pressure relief. Okay. okay. The grease fitting is it's on the other side. opposite side. Yeah, because I know my Gravely had non-greasable spindles. Skag has a tapered roller bearing. Tension okay. is preset, and this is a pressure relief. Adjustment. You're at three now. That's usually where I mow, honestly. Yep. I usually mow at three year round. And that's where I set them. You got to remember, Skag engineers these things with the clutch height up to the belt. There's no deflection at three inches. 
that's dead center. That's perfect, so, then. Yep. I like it. Fronts are semi-pneumatic. Rears are adjustable. Yeah. Um, I have the rear tire pressure set at 10, which is what Skag recommends. Okay. Um, there with the sidewall of the tire, even with your weight on going over bumps, you're not going to get the sidewall's not going to cave and up where it will change the cutting height. Yep. Under there. That's nice to have the battery up there. Yep. Because uh, the battery on the, on the Gravelys were a pain. And they to get inside the yeah, it was tank it was cover. way in there. Yeah. You yeah. couldn't even get cables on it if it went dead. Hey. So now I suppose you want money. Oh, oh man, nice. you don't want to donate to a good cause? Um, <laughs> Not today. Not today. <laughs> no. Here's your seat. Your owner's manual is down there. Yep. Let me go get you. All right. This guy's even gonna put it in the trailer for me. All right. Thank you, man. Even put it on the trailer for me? That's service right there. I do. Yeah, thank you, man. I really My appreciate pleasure. it. Any thank, questions? Thanks, for, thanks for going over all that with me. That was hey, helpful. No problem. Because, I mean, I know enough about mowers, but I never had a skag, so okay. that was no awesome. Problem. Any questions you have once you start using it, feel free to give a call. It's awesome. For. Thank you. All right, take care. All right, keep rocking those pork chops. Yes, sir. All right, you guys, so just picked up the mower. Uh, that guy was super helpful, man. I hope you guys got something out of his explanation of everything. So I love to go mow my grass right now, and I still am going to uh, tonight. But first, I'm going to head over to the park. Uh, my kids have some sports stuff going on, so I'm going to go there and hang out with my kids for a little while. Uh, I really want to jump on that mower, but first things first. So I'll see you guys a little later. All right, I don't have a lot of light left for mowing but i am gonna mow my yard i just have to i got a new mower you can't just put it away so i'm gonna mow my lawn and uh, then I'm going to give you my honest assessment of what I like and don't like compared to the Gravely Pro Stands that I've been running for years. The Gravely Pro Stands and the Toro Grandstand are the two that I'm most familiar with. I know how they feel and I know what they're all about. I've never ran a skeg, so I'm going to give you my opinion. And just remember, if I don't like this thing, it's all your fault because this is what you guys recommended. So I hope I like it. <laughs> All right, so I've just made my first uh, several passes here. Uh, the stripes are beautiful. I expected that because I know Skag stripes well. Um, the only thing right now I don't like about this mower is the controls are very touchy. I'm having a hard time keeping a very straight line. They're not bad, as you can see, they're, they're pretty good, but they're not perfect. Um, but I am expecting that as this mower wears in, the hydraulics wear in, uh, it's gonna be a lot better. All right, I'm gonna keep going and see what else I think. All right, so I'm struggling a little bit to keep a perfectly straight line. These are not bad. I've seen much worse. Uh, I can do better. Uh, I'm gonna restate this again. I am super impressed how this thing is dispersing the clippings. This grass is tall. Um, I don't know how tall you would say this is, but I would say this is probably seven, seven to eight inches tall uh, in this area here. And uh, it is not, I mean, it's not perfect obviously, but this is way better than my Gravely would have done. So I'm liking that a lot because that was always a nightmare, double and triple cutting every time.
All right, so I mowed about half the yard so far. And another thing that I just noticed about the skag that I like over the Gravely is the Gravely had an additional uh, safety feature in the levers, the handle levers. Uh, their left handle lever would flip up and you actually had to hold the lever down uh, to keep the motor running. If you let go, the lever would pop up and shut the motor off, which I never ever liked because if you didn't keep just the right pressure on it, or if you're on a side hill and your left hand got a little sloppy, the engine would begin to shut down. Uh, also the tab that holds the switch under the frame on the Gravely, uh, that tab would bend and it wouldn't, it wouldn't push the safety switch all the way in. So it would start dying out even when you did have the handle fully depressed. So I like the Skag that it just has uh, the platform safety switch uh, and then it has the parking brake. It just has two features, which right now I really like. All right guys, mowers are gonna sit right here overnight because it is out of gasoline. <laughs> so I know nobody's gonna take it because it's out of gasoline and it is in the back corner of my lot. I knew the mower was out of gas before I even started it, uh, but I just wanted to see how far I could get. So I'll fill it up in the morning and uh, finish that. I just about finished. I have like six more swipes down there. All right, it is getting dark and uh, the mower's out of gas back there in the back corner of my lot. <laughs> so anyways, my initial thoughts, I really like the mower. Uh, for it being the very first time I used it, it was easy to use. Uh, the best thing I liked about it is how it dispersed the clippings. You can see clippings back behind me there, but this grass was incredibly long. This was the tallest part of my grass right here, and it is not bad at all. Uh, nice stripes and uh, so anyways, I appreciate all of your recommendations on buying that mower. Uh, so far, I'm very happy with it and I'm glad I bought it. So the only two things I didn't like about it uh, is the controls were touchy, which I already mentioned. And I think that will correct itself after the machine is broken in. And then I didn't like the price tag. Uh, it was very expensive. It was more money than I wanted to spend, um, but it came highly recommended by you guys. And then last of all, I know you guys are going to want to know the answer to this question. What did I pay for it? I, I'm sorry, but I am not going to answer that question. I do not want to start anything. Uh, a lot of people will recognize the dealer that I was just at, and I don't want to cause any hard feelings, and I don't want to really hear the comments that I paid too much, or I could have got a better deal, or you should have got a better deal. I got a better deal than you. That's not necessary. If you're interested in the more, go to your local dealer, shop around a little bit, and uh, find your own price and go from there. But again, right now, as of now, I'm giving the Skag an A because I think the touchiness of the controls uh, will, um, you know, like I said, correct itself. So, all right, I'm running out of light. I'm going to go start editing some video. I will see you guys next time. <laughs>